This is problem number seven from section 5.5. .5. They want us to evaluate the integral. Uh, the integral e to the sine inverse of x dx divided by root one minus x squared. Now again, this is going back to something that we, I think we skipped this section with uh, inverse uh, trig function derivatives. I'm not positive, you guys can tell me later in class, but um, in your common derivatives uh, packet that you guys have on Schoology, you'll see that the derivative of sine inverse is equal to one over the root of one minus x squared. So we're going to actually use this to cancel this root one minus x squared here. So you can kind of see where this would go in this problem. Uh, we want to make our u, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide that to the side. But we wanna make our u equal to sine inverse of x. And then du over dx, so the derivative of sine inverse, we're gonna use that rule, we know is one over root one minus x squared. We're gonna solve for dx just like we have the whole time, so multiply by dx, so we have du equals one over root one minus x squared uh, d, uh, dx. And now we're gonna multiply by this reciprocal, so we're just gonna get the root of one minus x squared on the left side, du equals dx. So you can see that we're going to substitute this in for dx, and it's gonna end up canceling this right here. Let's take a look. That's the integral, so we'll have e to the u, right, because that's our sine inverse was u, over root one minus x squared times root one minus x squared du. And you can see that those cancel and we're left with integral e to the u du. Well, we know the integration of e to the u because we know the derivative of e to the u or e to the x is e to the x, so the antiderivative is just itself. So we end up with e to the u plus c, and the only thing we have to do then is substitute our u back in, and we get e to the sine inverse of x plus c. And that's the integral.